since baptism buried beneath this burden, written on my body, but embodied in my name, Mary. The same two syllables split in two directions. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. My single female body splintered evermore between the virgin and the whore, the ice and blowjob queens, respectively, mother or mistress, fast or frigid, the prude or the promiscuous, homemaker, homewrecker, fuck up, uptight, prone to hookups, not hooked up, right, late blooming, plowed, free milk, stubborn cow, harlot, hard to get, holiness incarnate, carnal skank, cardinal saint, magdalene, Mary. We interrupt this regularly scheduled binary to call bullshit. Submit our evidence starting with the etymology, Mary. The Latin, they'll tell you, translates to bitter. A term used to tame the complexity of water, the white waves buoyancy simplified eternally down to its inability to quench, my acumen tapered to its tendency to sting. That girl's got a soapbox, they say, as if soap and voice aren't both cleansing, but Mary at its root means water, the immensity of a relentless sea, salt water, the basis for all things, bodily tears and sweat shed equally in labor and in lust. These same hips bucked in the same thrust, the same neck bent back in the same scream, nipples hardened to nurse the same body that makes milk, makes cream. So why this tendency to declare dichotomy our deity? Sacrifice complexity, edit down queerness and morality into a one-size-fits-all sexuality or lack thereof. Who do I gotta screw to be allowed to love? Who do I gotta screw to be allowed to love? Who do I gotta screw to be allowed to love freely? Say it with me. Let's fuck purity and cleanse fucking simultaneously, fall to our knees and bleed the wine back into water. Let's stretch like a strait between the parted seas. Let's be saints and sluts, both and neither equally. As for me, I answer to Mary, but question as I. The Roman, they tell me, translates to one Mary, the plurality you cannot subdivide. Mary, at least two lips, electric unified, plied open in this scream. Yes, Virginia, I require room. I have longed for centuries after not pen, but page for space to stick a hold in my own breath. They say salt water cannot quench. I say I crave its depth.